right, welcome to this photo manipulation tutorial. Got a uh, pool with a giant waterfall coming out of it. So sit back and relax and watch me uh, create this photo manipulation. So, got a couple of different images, obviously the pool and the waterfall. So I've got this canvas and dragged the pool image into that. Ended up having to use canvas that was like 1280 by 720 because the uh, image quality of the waterfall was not great. So to avoid having to increase the size of an image that was already not uh, great quality, had the uh, canvas be uh, 1280. So the image of the pool, much larger. I'm going to zoom out and hit uh, Control T and holding down Shift. I'm going to reduce the scale. So I've got the waterfall image on top of the pool. I'm going to just reduce the opacity. So. Uh, just going back and forth with uh, moving the images and resizing to try to get those uh, two to line up. So it's really a process in this case of how much of the waterfall do you want to see or do I want to see, wanted to see most of the pool even with that uh, background there. I'm gonna hit a uh, layer mask icon that looks like that. So the benefit to the layer mask is with that image, I've got the layer mask on the waterfall image, I can use a white or black brush to uh, reveal or conceal. So I've got a black brush, I'm concealing, and I can switch to a white brush and just reveal uh, all of what I just concealed. So you can go back and forth with this, whereas if you were to use the eraser, you would basically be, uh, unless you hit undo right away, it's something where you cannot go back, uh, go back and forth and make alterations throughout this process. So trying to blend that uh, concrete pathway from the pool and those rocks so going to a different image, it's actually of the exact same waterfall, uh, but a different angle. But I'm going to take the lasso tool and try to capture some of this rock plus bushes and trees. So I'm going to hit Control J to isolate that. But before that, if you're wanting to select more, you can hold down Shift and just create more of a selection. You can do the exact opposite with Alt or Option on Mac and reduce your selection. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into our canvas. And just label that more rocks. So I'm going to use the Move Tool V on your keyboard. V is in Victor. And covering up that white rectangle. So in resizing both of the original images, sometimes you can, you can have this negative space that you've got to fill. So using the eraser, so working destructively, you could also just create another layer mask, but sometimes you know where a layer is gonna be and how much you want to remove. I'm just wanting to remove this like sharp hard edge. Plus, I know that I'm later going to cover up a little bit of that area with more of that long grass that you see on the right middle of the image. And then, so selecting the uh, layer mask of uh, the waterfall image and going over this uh, railing area, trying to create a sharper edge where that drops off.
And going back to the pool image, you're gonna select a little bit of this long grass, whatever this is. I'm gonna hit Control J, Command J on Mac, I believe, and drag that layer into our project there. You can see how much bigger the scale is of that picture. So you can hit Control T to scale this, holding down Shift. drag that over. I'm also going to drag this above all of the other layers so it's on top of that rock layer, that extra rock layer. So this is part of that pool image. I'm just going to have it accidentally hitting the pool image. Did it again. I'm going to select that extra grass image and then start to move it where I'm wanting it to be. Also using a very soft eraser brush with this trying to get rid of that hard edge. Selecting some of the color of that grass and just using the brush tool to extend some of that over some of that same color in that same shape to try to blend those two together. creating a new layer. I'm going to select some of that color from the pool, some of that blue color. So on a new layer with a brush, just going to go over that uh, brown lake water area and uh, with the attempt of trying to blend those two together, not trying to take away all of that brown lake water but trying to just blend the two together. And maybe experimenting with different uh, blend modes. I tried screen, tried darken, that looks terrible. So wound up just using normal, sometimes that's what works. You can mess with the opacity as well picking it uh, up or down. And using the using the eraser tool, just going to there was some of that blue color that got on that walkway and then some of it got on that uh, white foam of the waterfall. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So here, the original image of the pool, I'm going to uh, select that railing. So I'm going to get rid of all of this negative space. So selecting it with the polygonal tool, I think it's called, and just deleting that. So I'm wanting this uh, railing to extend in our, uh, on our canvas. So I'm deleting that. So I've already selected that. I'm going to drag that. And if you notice what's happened with blending those two images is that particular section that includes this railing uh, doesn't look quite right. It's, uh, it's basically transparent, fading. I need to uh, put this extra layer on top of it. So. You can hold down control to get more of like a fine touch with moving this into position. So going back to that other uh, alternate shot of this same waterfall, I'm going to select some of that rock and bush area. I'm going to hit control J and then drag that into our canvas. I'm going to move that to the top in our layers panel. And hitting Control T, you can rotate this and bring the scale down. And you can use the, uh, again, using the eraser, you can use a layer mask. Uh, you can also use the eraser, reducing the opacity, just trying to blend those two landscapes together where you've got that rock face and it's blending into that pathway of the pool.
So going back to that other uh, image of the same waterfall, I'm going to grab yet another section, drag that into our canvas, and I'm going to go ahead and scale that down, Control T, Command T on Mac. Go ahead and uh, zoom in here. And taking the eraser tool, getting rid of that sharp edge. I really just want that green area. And you can move that around. So placing something from that sort of beige rock area uh, on the uh, pavement or that walkway of the pool that is can help blend those two together so copy paste did a control c control v of that exact uh, same layer we were just working with as far as those bushes i'm going to paste that over on the other side so i'm going to try to work on this other side as far as trying to blend it with the uh, the walkway of the the waterfall shot And also selecting uh, the color of that white foam, a little bit off-white, and trying to blend that back into the pool area. And it really started uh, uh, being more effective, I would say, in uh, applying this further back into the pool, where you've got some of those uh, white water rapids that are developing uh, further back in to that pool area, helping blend it into that area where the water is gonna be falling. And selecting some of that color from the rock face and just using a brush, a certain opacity, trying to blend some of that color on a new layer right on top of that uh, sidewalk area from the pool image. So you could spend hours and hours on this just trying to go back and forth with this idea of blending those two landscapes together. So I've got a different image. I'm going to select some rocks here. Hitting Control J to uh, get that on its own layer, dragging it into the canvas. So I'm going to resize this, Control T, Command T on Mac, and rotate it. So still trying to work on that other side of the pool with uh, putting some rocks over there. Creating a new layer above that. I think I labeled it Color Rocks. So selecting some of that same color of the rock face of the waterfall image and just painting right over top of those rocks. And you can go through different uh, blend modes or just reducing the opacity. You can also just select some of that color and just literally paint on top of the rocks in order to help them blend more effectively. Reducing the opacity just so that there's just a little bit of a hint of that same color scheme. So also uh, selected another section of that rock face and created a little rock over here, mainly to cover up that ending of the railing section. Just didn't quite look right. Use the eraser to carve out some of that rock. So I did a copy paste of that uh, grass area. Decided to extend that landscape area from the pool image over down into the bottom uh, right there. So as I did before, just using the eraser tool to get rid of that sharp edge and then selecting some of that color of the green and just using the brush tool, I've got a, a pen with a tablet with pen pressure. And then going back to that original image of the waterfall and selecting this tree. I'm going to 
do a control J and then drag that into our canvas. I'm gonna drag that to the top of the layers. I'm gonna control T and scale that down while holding shift. And rotate it a little bit. And then these in Victor for the move tool, moving that into place, gonna try to uh, have one of these trees with, you can tell the color is different between the two landscapes. Landscape with the waterfall is more of like a yellow green and with the pool, it's really more of like a traditional forest green. So I'm gonna erase the uh, bottom half of that tree. I want it to be behind that railing. I'm gonna go ahead and erase the sharp edge of the outline of the tree. So here's something you can do, um, might not be noticeable, but you can take the uh, clone tool and select an area that is part of the tree, because that tree doesn't, as it is now, extend down into that railing. And then going in between those rails with this clone stamp tool, selecting above, and then clicking in between those rails and painting part of that tree as if it is extending down into that railing. So something that with this, this might not be that noticeable where people would appreciate this, but you can always use this technique or this idea in a, in a future project. So selecting some of that yellow green from that uh, waterfall side of the landscape on a new layer, just gonna paint some of that color to try and help blend those two yellow green colors together. You can mess with the blending modes. I think I uh, decided on soft light. And so going back in with the blending mode of soft light, and just adding more of that color that you see on the left side where those trees are like a green yellow. So if you're wanting to change the color or the saturation, you can have a hue saturation adjustment layer and I forgot to clip it to just that tree so if you go in between the hue saturation layer and the tree and hold down alt click or option on Mac you can then only affect the tree or whatever is below it directly below it so reducing that saturation of that tree to help it blend in So there you have it, pool with a giant waterfall flowing out of it, photo manipulation. So be sure and like and subscribe if you aren't already, ring that bell and uh, stay tuned for more photo manipulation tutorials. Thanks for watching.